Namaskar. Very warm welcome to all the viewers and learners in this live interaction of CIT and CRT. I am Renu Bhatt with you all and you are watching us live on e Vidya channel, channel number 10. And apart from this channel, you are with us on our YouTube channel as well, that is NCERT PM e Vidya class number 10. Two stories about flying. Although that chapter, this is your chapter third and this chapter includes two stories about flying. But in this particular session, we are going to cover only one story about a seagull. And for more uh, information about this particular story, we have joined by our experts. So without any further delay, let's quickly meet her. You are Dr. Ashwini Sandeep Patil. Very warm welcome, ma'am. Thank you. And uh, she is currently serving as Assistant Professor in Department of Education in Languages, NCERT New Delhi. So dear learners and viewers, in case you have any query in about this particular story or you want to know more about this particular story, you can reach out to us through our various mediums. We want you to participate in this particular live interaction because we bring this session only for you. So you can call us on our telephone number that is double eight double zero double four zero double five nine either you can drop a mail as well our email address is dth.class 10th at the rate ciet.nic.in and if you have joined us through our youtube channel that is ncert pme with your class number 10 you can uh, drop your comment in the live chat box section so we are uh, expecting your participation and let's quickly start this particular session and it's a uh, uh, wonderful story about flying so who is there and who is about to fly in the sky? We all love watching birds in sky. So ma'am, uh, what are all about this story ma'am? Yeah, thank you. Uh, today we are going to talk about chapter number 3 and the title of this chapter is two stories about flying. As ma'am told uh, you that there are two stories but for today's session we are going to discuss only one story and in upcoming session we will uh, discuss a remaining story. Okay, so today we are going to discuss his first flight and this story is written by Liam O'Flaherty and it is a wonderful story about a young bird and that is the seagull. So this is we which we are going to discuss today. Okay, so it uh, really sounds interesting ma'am yeah. about a seagull, what exactly that seagull is doing in that particular story. Yeah, of okay. course and uh, before going to start story, I would like to ask something, mm -hmm. you know, I would like to know from you people, your own stories about flying. Hmm. Okay, it may be flying an airplane or flying uh, a kite or you know uh, watch about watching a flying bird or you know flying a flag, anything whatever hmm. you have experienced in your life you may share with us in a live chat box. Okay ma'am would you like to tell us any one experience of your life related to flying experience? Ma'am, all those that you have just shared, I have done all of them and that includes uh, paragliding as well, ma'am. Great. So, I love uh, flying and I love watching birds flying in the sky, whether it's high or a medium, but I just love them, ma'am. Okay, great. Hmm. I also love watching birds uh, because, uh, you know, uh, hmm. birds, of course, they enrich our mood, hmm. right? So, as you see on the slide, you know, there uh, the word fly and uh, by taking this word fly, we can form many phrases and many idioms hmm. right? and some of them are here for your more hmm. knowledge uh, like a flying visit, fly apart, hmm. fly high, a flying start when pigs fly go fly a kite fly at fly a flag fly into a rage fly along fly the coop with flying colors hmm. and you may find many more and you may share uh, your own also here in a chat box okay so ma'am those were some of the examples of uh, uh, phrases related with flying so ma'am uh, what exactly those uh, the meaning of those phrases ma'am what are the meaning of those phrases exactly. and how can students can uh, use them in their daily uh, routine or any statement ma'am yeah we can use it guys because you know the you will remember all these uh, phrases and idioms i am assured so first one was that a flying visit 
So, what does that mean? Flying visit means giving a short and surprise visit to somebody. Okay. So, you can say that uh, I have um, giving a flying uh, visit to a temple or whatever in a, your way. Hmm. Fly apart means uh, to shatter into pieces, second, and then fly high. Of course, it indicates that to achieve success. So, when somebody achieves success, you can say that he is a flying high, right? Okay. Then a flying start means, mm. you know, um, getting initial benefits of uh, any activity. Means, suppose you are going to start a business and you have started it just now, but you got a huge benefit, then you can st say that, that he has got a flying start. Then we, when pigs fly, fly this is interesting one because hmm. pigs you don't may, fly. Yes, <laughs> pigs don't fly. So, what does it indicate that when something is impossible, highly impossible, you can say when pigs fly hmm. and uh, go fly a kite. This is also uh, wonderful, uh, and you people should use it in uh, your conversation. Go fly a kite, it is meant that when you want to say get lost. So, hmm. Go fly kite, it is a polite way to tell somebody to leave you alone. Okay. So, that is also going to help you in your daily life. Hmm. Fly at, fly at means to make a sudden attack on something or somebody. Okay, then fly a flag. Okay, it is as uh, literally it uh, has the same meaning. Fly a flag means to display flag on a, uh, on a long pole. Then fly into a rage, rage means anger, fly into rage means become uh, to be suddenly angry, okay. Hmm. Fly along means uh, to exit suddenly and then uh, second last that fly the coop means exit secretly. So, hmm. you can use it in various ways and last one with flying colors. At the end of session, we can say that we will come off with flying colors means hmm. we will achieve something big and we will be successful. So, that is all, all about uh, all these phrases and idioms. Okay. So, uh, it is time for us to start this uh, story, but ma'am before that, uh, I would here like to know about this story that is it a parable ma'am? Huh. It is a short story and uh, parable is a short moral story which gives us a spiritual truth even. So, present story occurs in the category of of course, parable because it is a short moral story and we can call it as a short story or even a parable. Okay? Hmm. I hope you got it. Okay, so, uh, his first flight, it is written by Liam of Letty and uh, the story is a lesson about overcoming fear. Here, it is, of course, it is an imaginary story of a young seagull uh, who is afraid uh, to fly for the first time and it is going to tell us about his all efforts to kill his fear and conquer success and it covers themes like courage, self-confidence and even success. So, uh, let me ask you one more thing. Um, do you know seagull? Have you ever seen seagull in your life? And if you have seen it, would you like to describe that bird for us? Hmm. Okay, try to describe the bird. And here, I am giving you some clues. You know, seagull is a migratory bird. Hmm. It occurs in the category of migratory bird hmm. and you know uh, that bird seagull especially uh, bird lives nearby the sea hmm. and fish of course is a favorite food of seagull and seagull you know has uh, short legs and uh, long wings and uh, talking about its color it has white and gray feathers. Okay, and this is you know about this bird, you can describe it in a very uh, beautifully and artistically as well. So, hmm. I hope you got uh, the image of seagull. Ma'am, I am quite sure all the learners get acquainted with this uh, particular bird. Here, I just wanted to know about the ma'am symbolization of seagull related, I mean uh, what is the, uh, why if we talk about seagull. So, um, 
what does seagull symbolize yes, now? Yes, of course. Right? Uh, this is interesting question, ma'am. Because you know, uh, writer here is talking about seagull and you curious um, uh, learners may have the question that why seagull only? Why no any other bird? Hmm. Right now? So, this is a common question. So, here seagull symbolizes something. In our life, we take seagull as a symbol of something. Seagull symbolizes freedom and seagull okay. symbolizes freedom from fear. Even seagull symbolizes independence and you know, seagulls are known for their excellent flying skill. And therefore, seagull even taken as a symbol of you know conquering our fear and you know um, achieving success. And therefore, he writer here is talking about bird seagull because that bird is a special one known for excellent flying skills. So, here might be writer in uh, uh, wants from we people that we should fly high and high, we should be excellent flyers like seagull, right? Right now. Okay, let us turn to the story. Uh, it is a short story about that younger seagull who you know described as uh, alone uh, standing on his ledge. Hmm. And his whole family uh, was away from him. His whole family was enjoying uh, their food and their, they were flying and diving. But here young seagull, he had failed to muster up his courage to take the jump. Hmm. And therefore, he left all alone on that ledge and he, he was very upset. He wanted help from somebody. but nobody was there to help him. Hmm. Ma'am, here uh, we just wanted to know why the bird is that much afraid ma'am, why so? See, here the story is about the first flight of seagull. Hmm. So, generally seagull, a seagull learn to fly within 35 to 45 days. Right. Okay. And you know here we can see that the, that younger seagull is just a 30 to 35 days old that is small one. He had just came out in this uh, uh, wonderful world and he uh, you know he, he was there uh, on the uh, near the sea and whenever he uh, saw that expanded sea that uh, generates fear in his mind. He, he felt that if I uh, could take the first step, if I uh, try to fly, then I will die. Okay. So, that sea threatens him hmm. to take his first flight. Okay. Ma'am, what uh, does writer meant by muster up ma'am? Yes. Muster up means to gather up. Okay. Means here we we, we uh, had one sentence. He failed to muster up his courage. Means he failed to gather up his courage to take the jump. Hmm. Thank you. Let us move ahead. So he was there all alone on his ledge, and his parents and his siblings they were enjoying, and you know. Uh, his parents uh, even threatened him, they scolded him, taunted him for not taking the first step and they even called him a coward. Hmm. Okay. So, here coward means a uh, you know, fearful person who, uh, who does not have any uh, daring to do something new, something different. And what happened next? He, he was not ready to take the first step and so his parents even threatened him to stay alone and stay hungry if he did not try. And his brothers and sister have mastered the art of flying and diving and they were enjoying a lot. So, here young seagull he, he, he had two brothers and one sister and all of them five means uh, his parents and his three siblings they were enjoying the art of flying, hmm. they were enjoying their food, they were learning to catch the food, catch the fish and they are also enjoying, enjoying the diving skill even. Okay, and uh, here that younger seagull he, he, he left hungry and you know 
it is more than 24 hours means he left all alone on that ledge more than 24 hours so you can imagine in his condition for 24 more than 24 hours that bird that small bird was hungry and alone and okay. he was constantly calling his parents for the help and his all efforts you know failed and so he pretended to fall asleep he thought that by seeing him to fall asleep his parents will come near to him and they will help him but again that effort that task also failed nobody paid attention to him and he left all alone so here uh, he was observing that his father is uh, happy with himself and his mother was there who was actually observing him uh, from a distance and still the mother was trying to encourage him, trying to you know call him, trying to uh, you know shout at him to take the first step. Hmm. And after um, this a long time period, finally that mother decided to uh, pick up a piece of a piece of fish for that young seagull and she picked up a piece of fish and she uh, started uh, coming to him and that sight of food he saw that fish as uh, he saw that his mother uh, was coming to him mm -hmm. that sight of food maddened him okay so ma'am what does the last uh, statement in the last uh, sentence mean ma'am food maddened him yeah Food maddened him means he became mad. Okay. Means he forgot. Hmm. Mad is a person who, uh, who 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 knows nothing right now. So here, that young, young seagull, he uh, forgot everything related to his fear. That sight of food maddened him. Means that sight of food, uh, you know, forced him to uh, forget everything. Uh, about his exp uh, about his fear and uh, his um, mind play. So he he got excited to see uh, his mother uh, coming near to him by having food, and he was excited. He was you know ready to 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 eat that food. But what happened? His mother stopped at a distance, distance of just one step. Hmm. And now there was no any other option. So you know that mother had the skill to hmm. let that child take the first step. Hmm. And so out of excitement and out of hunger that bird dived at the fish and he took the first flight. Hmm. So see, see the quality of mother even that hmm. mother he see helped him to took the first step hmm. and that young seagull he took his first flight he dived at that fish and he grabbed that hmm. and he he realized that oh i have started flying without any any issue hmm. and then then and then only his whole family gathered around him see otherwise all family was uh, far away from him they were not ready to support him but as soon as he took the first flight as soon as he started flying whole family gathered near to him and they started celebrating his success hmm. and that young seagull he was also enjoying uh, the skill of flying and skill of diving right. and the family was you know around him then family was screaming out uh, out of excitement they were flapping and they were clapping even you can say hmm. and this is the story of young seagulls uh, you know a successful flight and therefore writer mm. uh, you know entitled it as his first, first flight. flight so if you have any question like whose first flight it is all about seagull's first flight here is one recap question for you people how many siblings did the young seagull have if you have listened me carefully i hope you are able to answer me this question how many siblings how many brothers and sisters that younger seagull have hmm. you may answer in chat box now okay. can you help me sure ma'am can i yes okay 
So the young seagull had two brothers and one sister. Wonderful, mom. you are brilliant, ma'am. Congratulations to you. So young Thank seagull you. have two brothers and one sister. Wonderful means you listened it very carefully. Yes, ma'am. The story indeed was very, uh, ma'am. Uh, I would say interesting and wonderful. Here we want to know something more about uh, writer, ma'am. Could you yeah. please explain? something yeah. about it yes after discussing his story we we become curious to know about the exactly. writer right hmm. now and that is right point to talk about writer when we feel that we must know who is the creator of this then and then that is uh, worth to discuss it liamu flati is a nigerian poet and he is a poet of early 20th century and he wrote many novels and short stories hmm. and he tried to depict common man's experiences in his writing. He, he was you know keen observer and he observes the uh, things and uh, that observation skill helped him to point out all details of Seagull even. Hmm. Okay. Right? So ma'am here uh, we would like to know about the moral, the lesson of this particular story. What is that for our young learners ma'am? Yeah, yes, as I told you it is a parable and it is going to give us a moral lesson. After discussion of this story you might also have uh, got an idea that what the story is all about. It is about killing our fear. It is about becoming courageous. It is about you know getting freedom from our you know um, suspicious mind, fearful mind, hesitation. All these things are you can say blockages in uh, our success and when we control all these blockages then I think that success becomes quite easier and this story is about success even and it tells us those who overcome all the hurdles, those who overcome fear and hesitation, those people will only become successful in their life. Hmm. So it's a wonderful uh, moral and lesson from this particular story and I'm quite sure our learners loved it ma'am. So ma'am what would you like to uh, say to all the learners at that this time moment ma'am? Yeah, so uh, it is about you know uh, acquiring a skill, hmm. the story is about acquiring skill, we are in a 21st century. Ma'am, uh, yes, I'm please. sorry I'm interrupting you, you are talking about 21st uh, century skills. So it's uh, because it's a uh, uh, it's this is that ma that era uh, where we have to have some skills, right? So what are those skills that our young uh, audience need to have in them, ma'am? Yeah, of course. You know, uh, while uh, surviving today, we need to and while just not surviving to be successful in our life, we need to how to acquire some essential skills. And if you you ask me about 21st century skills, I I mention here only four skills. There are so many of course but four or um, predominant skills or essential skills. Ma'am we have only two more yeah. minutes left ma First one is communication skills we mm. must have that then collaboration skill then critical thinking ability and creativity. If we have these four skills I think you will uh, be a successful person in your life. So here writer tells about the first flight and taking the first step you know journey to a thousand miles begins with a single step so don't uh, feel fear to take a first step try to take the first step, uh, step and try to um, write a short composition on your initial attempts at learning a skill you can describe your uh, skill of riding a bicycle or learning to scale uh, learning to swim and try to make it as humorous as possible okay this is from my side about this story you read it and enjoy it thank you so very much thank you so very much ashwini ma thank you for being with us and for this wonderful story and wonderful explanation i'm quite sure our learners uh, loved this uh, uh, session and dear learner it's time for me to wrap up this session and the takeaway from this particular story is quite a uh, very important the moral of the story is very important you need to overcome your fear anyhow and we uh, it's about it's uh, a time to take a short break and the next session is 
for 9th standard social science student and the topic would be French Revolution causes and consequences so be with us on e vidya channel and on our youtube channel that is ncerdpn e vidya me renu bhat is taking your leave namaskar